very warm welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can create UI table view using UI default data source in iOS Swift so for this I already set up a basic project where I drag and drop my UI table view onto the main or storyboard view control scene and a button at the top for the add and created a device info cell as we will going to display the name of the devices on our table cell and in the table list so here we have all basic setup done so now let's move on and just create and see how we can create UI table view with UI default data source for that first we need to create our enum for a section so we will create enum and name it as section and it should be hashable and we will tell that we will display all the item in one section so we will take a case called all now let's design our model for the items to be displayed inside the table view and we will name it as device and it should also be confirming to hashable protocol and we will take two properties where device name and it will be of type string and the second property will be where manufacture date date or you can say year for more simplicity and it will of type string okay so we have now our enum that represents our section inside the table view and a structure that will represent all the items that will display inside our table view okay so now what we will do we do already connected our IB outlet and we named it as list table now we will create an array where data item and it will be of type device right now I, we will create a you know a function for our difficult data source so we will say private create uh, sorry private func create difficult data source right and it will return us UI default data source and it has section and our type of data it will contain right now here we created it now we will say let data source is equals to UI table view default data source and here is a section and device right or well, if you don't want to do this you just do it UI table view data source table view right table view our list table and here now here we need to set this like section and device and here you can see this is the cell provided it has three parameter table view index path and item identifier so you can name it as device okay now here we'll say guard let cell is equals to a table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier and cell identifier will be device info cell dot cell identifier right and 
here will say okay we just missed else otherwise it will return in empty UI, UI table view cell so you return UI table view cell like this and here will be a cell and here we will create a property called function you can say set name from and it has name of type string and here we have device info label dot text is equals to name right now in our view controller we will say cell dot set name from because we didn't bind it as device info cell we are not getting this function so now set set name from device that we get from here device dot device name right and here we will say return cell so this is done this will act as our cell for row at index path and here we will return the data source now what we will do here we will create a property called where and we make it lazy lazy pair data source is equals to create table view data source now in our view dot we will register ourselves for the xib so say list table dot register nib for ui nib nib name this bundle nil and here we'll say device info cell dot cell identifier and the name name will be device info cell and then we'll say list table dot data source is equals to uh, data source here we mentioned in line number 18 right and this is now we are done now let's say we will add an item here inside our add function data item dot append and append we will add device device name will be ipad manufacturing year will be 2000 18 right and in order to load our cell what we will do is data source dot apply snapshot right but before that we need to create a snapshot so where snap short is equals to ns default data source snapshot and it the snapshot will be of section and the model we have that device right now here snapshot dot append section dot all since we have only one section here so we are appending this all section first that is one section and snapshot dot append item items will be our data item and finally we'll say data source dot apply snapshot and snapshot is this right and if you want that animating differences is equals to true that's it and now this line number 31 will act as our reload 
table view. Now let's run the app. Here we go, our app is launched on iPhone 14 Pro Simulator. And now we will tap on, since our table view is black, we will tap on add. And here you can see the iPad is there. Right? So since this is, uh, we added an item here on line number 28 also 27 if we add it again now you can see there is an error that says here you can see that duplicate identity files so since we are confirming to this and uh, the default data source means differentiate so the database uh, so the data source for the table should be should contain different values if they have same values then it will throw an error if you are using it or if you're using the same data source here okay so now what we can do for this what we can do here is we will remove we will just remove this line from here we create a private func add item and or you can do this here that we need to provide so we will take here where year equals to 2018 and we will add year here and then here plus equals to one and now let's run the app again so here we tap on add ipad 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 because now our year is incrementing so here if we want to say this then what we can do device name now it will make more sense to our list so here we add ipad 2019 20 21 22 23 24 25 so whenever we tap add the collection sorry the table view reloads itself by where data source is applying snapshot to our items so this is the basic tutorial that tells or demonstrates that how we can use UI table view diff UI, UI default data source in UI table view. So with UI default data source we get rid of self forward index path and we only need to create a, a UI default data source and whenever the data is added to our data source or data item array and uh, data is a differentiate data that it shouldn't be same and we apply the data source or snapshot then the table will reload automatically so it's quite easier because it gets rid of that how we can face an error that number of section and uh, rows plus minus one error and it's it's very easy to implement i hope you will like this video if you do have any questions please feel free to comment out in the on the video thanks for watching bye for now